So it's almost time to crack open the wallets again. There's been so many products that have been released by Apple and it looks like we're going to be getting even more. So if you guys remember a while back at WWDC 2020, they said that Apple Silicon based Macs were going to be coming by the end of 2020. Now we're almost at the end of 2020. I know this year flew by even though there's been so many setbacks and negative things that have happened. With only two and a half months left of the year, it looks like it's going to be prime time to release Apple's first silicon based MacBook. Now Apple themselves have not announced this and now with these events a lot of people tend to leak the dates and I would say the two people that we're going to be talking about today have a very good track record at least 85% of the time they're correct so we're going to talk about what they have said. The first one is John Prosser which if you guys follow a lot of Apple rumors you will know who this guy is. He's had the last two correct so chances are the third one is going to be correct as well. So he said to confirm there is a November ARM Mac event you should see this confirmed with an announcement on Tuesday, November 10th, and the actual event would be on November 17th. Now, this is super exciting because if this ends up being true, this means the first ever Apple Silicon-based computer, and I think this is going to be a really, really big deal. Now, the one thing we don't know is which specific Mac this is going to be. Is it going to be a refresh of a model we have right now, or maybe something totally new? Another guy who speculates a lot on Apple products is Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, and he reports that it will be either a 13 inch macbook pro a new macbook air or the revived 12 inch macbook now personally i don't know if the macbook pro or air really needs a refresh considering we got new ones in may which honestly wasn't that long ago so i don't think apple is going to just you know make a refresh of a product they just refreshed regardless if it's with their own chips or not personally i would like to see a refresh of the 16 inch macbook pro just because it released in november last year and it's due for a refresh now i I do think this could be a reincarnation of the actual MacBook. And basically what that would mean is down the line, maybe they'll get rid of the MacBook Air and just have like the MacBook as their base model entry level computer. But there's also been rumors that this first ever Apple Silicon chip computer might even be an iMac. Now, if you guys remember a few months ago, we got a refresh of the 27 inch iMac. It still has an Intel chip and everything, but they didn't refresh the 21 and a half inch model. Now they're going to have to do that at some point. And why not make it a huge deal with their first ever silicon chip? So as you guys can see in this render right here, it looks like the design might even mimic the iPad Pro and the new iPhone 12s with the square sides and the edge to edge display. Getting rid of the Apple logo, as you can see behind me on my 27 inch model, I think this will look amazing. And I also think it will really get the hype up for the first ever Apple silicon chip. If they redesign the whole iMac and make it look like an iPad Pro, a complete redesign of one of their best-selling computers with their first ever chip I think is just going to sell like crazy and I really like that design if, if they do end up changing the design to look like basically an oversized iPad Pro 100% I will be purchasing one of those bad boys because that just looks incredible love the edge to edge display and it would really fit nice with my personal ecosystem with the iPhone 12 the iPad Pro and then having an iMac all kind of looking the same there's also been some reports that they might scrap the whole 21 and a half inch model and make a 24 inch model which I think this would be a pretty good idea essentially it would be the same size as the 21 and a half inch right now they would just take out the bottom with the Apple logo and just make it edge to edge I think it would sell really well and look really good and be a really nice refresh I think they almost want to start new with their own chips and redesign the computers and everything too so that would be really really cool now that we've covered the computer aspect of the November event it also looks like we might possibly be getting air tags now this rumor has been going around for a long time. I'm honestly surprised AirTags haven't come out yet considering how many times they were supposed to come out. But there are reports saying that AirTags might be coming with the silicon based announcement. Now I think the way that they would do this is almost how they did the HomePod with the iPhone 12 event. Basically start the event with the HomePod then get into the good stuff which was the iPhone 12. So I think they're going to do pretty much the same thing. You know maybe start the event with the AirTags then lead into the silicon Max. To be honest 
honest, this probably isn't even going to happen because they've literally said air tags are going to come out, air tags are going to come out, and then they just never do. But I'm hoping they kind of do because I do want to try that. I'm not really someone who, you know, loses their stuff, but I do think it would be nice to keep track of it just in case because, you know, everyone says that. They're like, oh, I never lose my stuff. I never lose it. And then the one time they lose it, it's $1,000 gone, essentially. Plus, they kind of look cool, you know, those little circles with Apple logos that just, you know, tell you where your stuff is. I think it's honestly going to be a novelty item. I don't think everyone's going to buy it by any means, but I do think it's going to be something nice to have. I think big Apple fans and big tech fans will probably get it, but the average person probably won't. But that is it for the video, guys. It looks like John Prosser and Mark Gurman have blessed us again with some more rumors to talk about. Leave a comment down below of what you think is going to happen next month. I feel like the computers will 100% be announced because they literally said at WWDC that they were going to release them before the end of 2020. They got two and a half months left and I definitely think they're going to release it before the holiday season because the last quarter of the business year is then and they want to, you know, make a lot of sales. And I think the computers are going to sell really well. I can't wait to hopefully pick one up, unbox it and review it on the channel. And if you guys do want to see that, make sure you like and subscribe. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.